So I crashed my drone. <laughs> what are you? No way. A BLT. <laughs> Today we are going wild camping in Glen Etiv. It's just beside Glencoe, like after King's House, you turn left for a bit, and it's such a nice day in Scotland. It's telling me it's 11 degrees at the moment, meant to be 18 degrees, which, believe it or not, is like mental for Scotland. So we're gonna sunbathe, hopefully go swimming, get the drone up, get some nice photos. Oh, you're still filming. Yeah. <laughs> We have arrived at Glen Etive and we're just going to set up the tent. It's quite windy, but that's a good thing because there'll be no midges. And look, look at this, look at this, look around me. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. You into the car? Okay. Oh, oh. That is us now set the tent up. That was, I was going to kill. Oh yeah, I'll open it for you, I'll open it for you. Um, I've set the tent up. I was about to kill Emily there. Just, you know, one of those stressful things that just get couples really, really upset with each other. <laughs> this was it, because it was really windy, blowing, blowing a gale, but incredible. I'm covering from the wind. That's why I'm inside at the moment. But look, tent is fully up. Probably not the best we could do, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's get set up. Look how cozy that looks. That looks insane. <laughs> That one there. Back Just take a big stride, a big stride. <laughs> Where are we going? No, actually. <laughs> 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 we are just walking in Glen Etiv at the moment. You can see behind me our campsite's way over there. That little green tent way over there. And the valley is incredible today. It's quite windy, which is actually a good thing because there'll be no midges. Which I, I'm not sure if you saw the last vlog. <laughs> Glencoe, camping in Glencoe where the midges were just disgraceful. Like we had to sleep in the car because they were so bad. So we're gonna go walk around, hopefully get the drone up a bit later, have a barbecue, sunbathe, get nice and burnt. What else do you want to do, Emily? I think you covered it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's him. laughs> Emily was just asking if deers ate mice. <laughs> well, we just saw a mouse and I wasn't sure. I so, we, seen a deer. <laughs> so we just saw a mouse running straight underneath somebody else's tent. Like, oh. <sighs> Emily and I are just sitting chilling in the sun at the moment i'm gonna go down to the river get some nice drone shots and hopefully drone shots across the road and what book are you reading little women little women what's that about I don't know, yeah. little women <laughs> 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 Emily and I are just sitting in the sun at the moment with this in front of us and we're just gonna chill out for a bit. We've got our snacks, we've got our lint over here, we've got our Pringles just here, we've got our barbecue for later. We've actually got snack overload, we've got marshmallows as well and chocolates and far too much. And we've actually got a fire pit and, ras and raspberries were <laughs> relatively healthy. And we've also got a fire pit just here which will look amazing. Um, hopefully at night so that we can get some nice photos from the tent overlooking this in the background with the fire just here that should should look really nice as usual all of those will be featured on my instagram and yeah we're just going to chill for a bit hopefully not burn emily has just pointed out all these nails that are just sitting around the campsite like all up here it's so weird the tent's right there and there's just a bunch of nails like hundreds of them what are you laughing at <laughs> i've got the giggles <laughs> right we're <laughs> We are just walking along this road in Glen Etiv and it's absolutely stunning. The sun keeps getting caught behind the clouds and it actually gets really cold as soon as the sun is gone. So we're just walking so that we can stay in the sun. And where are we going after that, Emily? Where, where do you think? I'm just gonna go explore and see what else is about it. See if we... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you just jumble up your words there. I just, I just can't do it. The camera is just too much for Emily. Yeah, she just yeah. can't deal with it. It's for your face. <laughs> you look stare at me at the same time. That is us just coming back from our walk now, aren't we? Yep. You still camera shy? No. <laughs> no. And we're gonna light the wee bonfire. Not the bonfire, but the wee, um, what do you call it? Um, barbecue. Barbecue. We're gonna light the barbecue. Watch out this car. Uh, we're gonna light the barbecue up, get all our sausages and rolls and all the rest of it on it, and then, yeah, have a nice meal. But it's amazing weather. And we just walked out in there and there's tons of tents camped everywhere. And everybody's so friendly because I think the restrictions have just been lifted and nobody's socialized for so long that everybody's just really, really friendly. And with that said, we have our own little spot just over here, away from everybody. <laughs> totally isolated to ourselves. There we go, barbecue at the ready. And what is that? Look how melted that is. It's disgusting. Oh, it's what's for the barbecue? Uh, we've got burgers. Burgers. And salad, that's it. Salad, burgers, salad, and we also have chocolate and Pringles and stuff. had an amazing lunch so we had burgers and cheese and now we're gonna get look at this look at this actually we've got like a little fire pit kind of thing just here so we're gonna light a fire we've got marshmallows and all the rest of it so we can have s'mores we've also got biscuits so we can have like cookies and marshmallow kind of stuff and I'm gonna get the drone up a bit later when the Sun sets over here it's a bit bright but it's just setting over here soon and hopefully we get a nice sunset and yeah just chill so we're gonna get this fire started okay so we have fire lighters kindling just here and the big logs so basically what you want to do is put the kindling on first then the kit nope you want to put the fire lighters on first then the kindling and then the logs and that's how you get a big fire this is the beginning of the fire we're going to let that grow for a bit add more kindling and then add these big logs so they'll burn for like ages we've got like three hours so so we need this fire for a while so we're just going to like maintain it we've just been sitting around wondering when to start the fire i think and when the sun's gonna set, so might as well start it now. So we basically need a stick for our marshmallows. This is the fire, by the way, at the moment. It's getting quite high. And we need a stick for the marshmallows, but the problem is there's pretty much no trees. <laughs> Apart from that one across the river, and there's one over there somewhere, there's, there's not much choice. So I'm just gonna have to go to that one over there, I think, and see what I can find. <laughs> Just walking towards this tree, which seems to be absolutely miles away. Oh my god. Good thing that Emily's not come with me. Good thing that she's just left me to do it. <sighs> Turns out, those trees are all at the other side of the river. Like the opposite side to which I'm on, so <laughs> I can't get to them. Oh, we just might have to, I don't know, fork the marshmallows into the fire. Emily's saying that they conduct heat because it's metal, but... I think it should be all right. Like, I think it should be fine. Hmm. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? We're, we're going to try packing. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> so we're going to try, we're going to try it with the pegs. We're going to try eat these s'mores with these pegs on that fire. Pegging. <laughs> <laughs> you look scared. Do they work? Well, yeah, but it's just too bad. Do they work? Do they work? Yep. <laughs> so, pegging works, it turns out. So we've got all our <laughs> pegs and marshmallows and nice. <laughs> and we'll use that. And we're gonna get the drone up a little bit later just as the sun sets, get some nice drone shots, get some shots of the fire and the tent. We'll need to move all this rubbish. We'll also, we're, we're cleaning up as we go. There's so much plastic and crap here. That it's kind of horrible. So remember when you come camping, leave no trace clean everything up, clean all the plastics up, um, and leave it how you found it. So I just put one of these into the fire, made a s'more, and then put it between one of the, or two of these. One of these, two of these, and it's incredible. Look at that. Mm. Oh my God. So good.
Zaz now in bed, nice and comfy with the covers, and look at this, look at this view. Look at this. Oh, nice. Okay, we will see you in the morning. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Oh, so the latest update is that the wind last night picked up so much, and we hadn't put the guy ropes up, so last night's sleep was not great. And also, there was a police van that went past, and it had flashing lights, and then it just stopped at the end of the road for ages. I don't know why. Um, so that woke us up as well. So yeah, a bit of a restless night's sleep, but a beautiful morning it looks like. Look at this. And we've got our breakfast bonfire at the ready. Ah, yes, look at that. That is us now completed breakfast and we've just put everything away. We're just cleaning up at the moment. It's really important that you remember to leave absolutely no trace when you come to these campsites. Clean everything up, make it look like you weren't even there. Keep the sort of reserve the beauty of or preserve the beauty of Scotland because if you litter it's gonna it's gonna go unfortunately. And um, we're then gonna go to Green Welly and see what we can do from there. That is us now put away the tent and this is where the tent was. I'm not sure you can see it, but we've left absolutely nothing. No plastic, no bags, no barbecue, absolutely nothing. That's the way it should be. So now we're gonna go, let's go to Green Welly. Woo! That is me now back in the house. What an incredible, incredible day. Just had a quick shower. It was too busy in Loch Lomond to stay there. It was honestly mobbed. It was ridiculous, but what an incredible, incredible day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog.